Hello everyone, it's Sophia Hodgson from Rusty Glue 85 and today I'm going to share with you a very, very quick video because my last video was so unbelievably long about my alcohol ink uh, swatching. So, previously I only had six alcohol inks so I've made little swatches of them in this uh, coin display pouch. Uh, you can buy these on Etsy and Amazon and all sorts of things, so they are basically coin collectors little pouches. Um, I don't know if you can see there, there's a lot of glare. Um, but they're uh, 2 inches by 2 inches, so if you just cut... Um, I tend to cut mine 5 centimetres by 5 centimetres, just so that they fit well. Um, and I've labelled them all using my label printer. Uh, again, you don't need a label printer. If you just want to handwrite them on the back, you can handwrite them on the back. And I had a little sticker accident there, so I've got a sticker on the back for that one. So these are my original six. I'm just going to put that to one side. I have three brand new colours, kind of in the pinky red end of the spectrum. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, so anyone who knows me knows that I'm much more of a purple, teal, green kind of person, so the fact that I've got three in a kind of warmer red colour scheme is quite odd for me. Um, but I'm trying to build up my alcohol ink collection so that I can make more unusual projects. Um, so this is the Shell Pink alcohol ink, and I'm just going to swatch that out on some UPO paper. It's important that you use UPO paper because um, alcohol inks need to be on a... This is a synthetic surface. So I really like that. That's a really, really pale pink. I think I'm going to get quite a lot of use out of that one. Uh, so I just need to make sure that I label that properly. And if you don't fiddle with your alcohol inks, they dry pretty quickly, so um, I'll be able to put these in the uh, in their little pouches very quickly. Sorry, that lid was a bit tight. Uh, and that's the watermelon. Um, I haven't got an alcohol ink tin yet, they were all sold out. Um, so I'm waiting on that to come back into stock before I can get one, but now that I have nine alcohol inks, I feel like I can justify a, a storage uh, tin for them so that they don't end up rolling all over the place, because cats love anything that's small and round and rolls. Ooh, well that's, uh, that's a lot darker than I was expecting. So that's the cranberry. I would almost describe that as wine. I think that's going to be a really nice colour for Christmas. Um, oh, that's probably why it's called cranberry. Christmassy. So now that I've created my little swatches, if I want to do an alcohol ink project, I can just get all of my swatches out and decide what colours go well with each other. Um, I've tried with the six that I have already to arrange them in sort of colour families so that I can pick and choose good ones that go with each other. So, for instance, if I'm looking now, the red pepper and the watermelon would go quite well with each other. Um, so that's my swatching of my alcohol inks. Let me know how you uh, organise all of your craft room supplies. Uh, all of the bits and pieces that I've talked about today will be linked in the video description below. Uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and I will see you again soon with another project. Bye!